um, hi, welcome, or welcome back to my channel, Lena, my name, Luna the Moon, Lena Luna's channel. <laughs> um, so, I hope this is in the center, and, uh, wait, can you see my hands when I'm doing this? Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, so, welcome to the channel, um, before getting into the reading, I will once again disclaim that, um, I am not a professional reader, I do this for a hobby, um, I do this as a hobby, and if it resonates, well, like, just take what resonates and leave the rest, I, I actually view these tarot readings as something that's more of a um connection to the subconscious so throughout the reading of course like uh like from the connection that the cards has to the situation and things of course there's, the, there's like the universe and things like that but in terms of psychology i feel like um to me tarot reading is a connection to your subconscious to really truly um try to just like it's an opportunity to allow you to acknowledge the situation acknowledge your inner desires like what you truly think because i feel i believe that um the universe and like i believe in the universe and also i believe in you i believe that you like in inside you you already kind of know the answer sometimes you just refuse to admit sometimes you just need clarification and advice so there's that uh if you're not someone that's suitable for harsh words my reading is not for you but anyways with that being said welcome to the reading um this reading is for a why um her answer no fuck sorry her question <laughs> is whether or not a career change is a good decision. And so something that I just want to say uh, is that I kind of already did one reading before, but like there's a lot of interruptions and I wasn't in the best state of mind, so I was kind of uncertain about that. But so I decided to do one again after dinner. And maybe the cards will be different maybe the cards will be the same i don't know uh because i did shuffle and do everything again and i'm just saying that uh both times when i was shuffling the oracle deck it's super smooth like unusually smooth so maybe it will say something about like uh like how like your career path changes things like that okay uh wait there's also something else that i want to say right um this uh you can treat this reading as something like a podcast like you don't have to look at the video unless like i say like here's how things look or when i'm talking about like the visual aspect of things um yeah so first of let's talk about oh okay Oh, it's also coins. Okay. So just now the card that I drew was, um, the card that I've drawn for you just now was, uh, Ten of Coins in reverse, but now it's King of Coins. So both are coins, which totally makes sense because coins relates to physical world, body, senses, resources, like earthly things. So more materialistic and it's, reasonable and it makes sense because um you're asking about a career path and that's uh very much interlinked with the concept of like money and materialistic things and so yeah wait let me just take this out and talk about kings there's no i i, I don't have information about kings um, so, let's talk about the service meaning of things. Okay, so there's this person 
he looks like pretty like to me he looks kind of um smug like um and i don't really get a good vibe from him like there's these things on top i don't know if you can see it but it gives me some really eerie vibes like these things it gives me really eerie vibes but um yeah like so at the current moment i don't have a good feeling about this um but yeah i don't other than that there's these small houses at the back and and then uh like this person looks like really independent so maybe they are trying to get be independent um from their family this is what i'm thinking uh because because like the houses are very small so it feels like they are not really viewing the um their family as much anymore so maybe it's saying that maybe this career path may lead you to another level of independency uh leaving your houses maybe like uh leaving your like wherever you're situated right now maybe you are moving houses maybe you're moving uh cities countries blah blah, blah uh for this career path um or in the process of this just like there's maybe some kind of movements uh like just away from your family away from where you consider home that's the vibe that i'm getting and uh they look smug they have a crown on their head uh like this coin thing really big coin so it feels like it's it's successful but there may be a cause because um like there are sacrifices that has to be made like um moving away from your family or um uh yeah being independent Anyways, let's look into the actual definitory definition. King of Coins. The King of Coins is extremely practical in values and results, bottom lines and quality. Although he has an appreci appreciation for the finer things in life, he doesn't expect them to be handed to them. He can be generous, but always considers which donation or gifts have the most impact. His experience and skill are generally turned towards serving the greater goods or a larger organization. The advice is to carefully assess your resources and invest them wisely. Value good work, but don't purchase purchase them above your means. So yeah, there's that. Um, what I would say is just like, um, it seems like I think like the whether or not this is a good decision is completely up to you. It's it seems like um it's more of like a weighing different things thing. Like uh what I'm saying is just that like if you consider having a good relation with your family, then you, it might not be a good like if you consider a good decision as in some a uh, fuck looking at uh, Hold on, let me collect my thoughts. So if you value your family, then maybe it might not necessarily be the best decision. But if you are someone that values money more or wants to go into the direction of independence, then that would be like a good decision. So it's just like, think about what I said. Um, assess your resources and surroundings and like the situation and things like that and just weigh them out so there's that and let's look into the oracle card let's see what that is oh. you are good enough so i think the advice is 
leaning to more towards like if you are with your families just because you like are trying to remain dependent to them if you're just questioning if like anything about the situation is about um your doubts and your self-worth then this card is the clarification that you are good enough a full moon in virgo let's look into the full moon in virgo it's time to be really honest with yourself and understand what leads you to ask your question have you been humble to the point of being self-effacing humility is good but it can go too far drawing this card suggests you may be underrating yourself you don't have to be flash just quietly certain that you're good enough at the other end of the scale you also need to honestly answer this question have you been too picky the full moon and virgo card needs the truthful answer once you've given them it should be easier to see how you got where you are you need next step your next step should then be more obvious to you. Pay attention to the details. Hard work brings resolve. The tune to the moon is find a balance between the cosmic and mundane in your daily life. This is interesting because the oracle card that I drew just now in the previous reading for you was um, the balance between spiritual and practicality. So it was also something but about like similar to this attune to the moon so like yeah find a balance between cosmic and mundane in your life so like i like this is not in the book but i would recommend some like meditation um manifestation like writing a grateful journal and things like that just like um those are also good for like um having a more positive mindset and that can possibly contribute to like this and goal of you are good enough so uh the additional meaning for this card is that worrying too much will attract more things to worry about have you been overly critical an apology may be in order stop second guessing yourself raise your karma by doing something good for someone else the full moon in virgo is a time to declutter your life your home and your office it is time to sort what's good in your life from what's not serving you. It's also the time to clear out your energies through salt baths and meditation. Look, meditations! And to practice getting more grounded by walking barefoot. No matter when you draw this card, it's a reminder that any time is a good time to start living a healthier life. Yeah, so that's reading i hope it resonates i hope it made sense um i do feel more confident in this reading rather than the one before when I, my head was a mess so yeah um but yeah thank you for the reading and thank you for requesting a reading thank you for letting me read for you uh please consider commenting or just dming me about your end result um uh any feedback is appreciated except for the fact that if you're saying that i bullshit too much that is not applicable because i can't stop that um yeah consider like and subscribe if you enjoy the reading thank you for watching or listening here's your reading da -da -da -da.